Hurricane Ian may be making landfall on the southwest coast, but here in South Florida, feeling the impacts of the relentless rain and those strong winds. Next weather meteorologist, Lissette Gonzalez, is joining us now with the latest on Ian and what we can expect uh, later today. Lissette? Yes, good morning. Hurricane Ian is almost a Category 5. We're just one mile per hour away from Hurricane Ian being a Category 5. And right now, as we look at the 9 a.m. update, it is moving north northeast at 10 miles an hour and continuing to get closer and closer here to the southwest coast of Florida, where weather conditions have been deteriorating and they are experiencing hurricane conditions. And because of the fact that we have a category four, potentially cap five, making landfall sometime later today across the southwest coast of Florida, there is a potential for unprecedented, catastrophic, life threatening flash flooding and storm surge here along the southwest coast. Once it pushes onshore and moves inland, it will likely become a category one hurricane light, late tonight before it moves across central Florida and Orlando, and then a tropical storm merging into the western Atlantic before it turns back northwest towards the Georgia and the Carolinas and the southeast. And you'll notice that storm surge could be anywhere from about 12 to 16 feet along the southwest coast of Florida, stretching from Port Charlotte all the way to Naples, from Naples to Everglades City, could see storm surge of eight to 10 feet, and we're seeing in the lower keys storm surge three to five feet, two to four feet for the middle and upper keys, and minor storm surge for Broward and Dade. Under a tornado watch, by the way, until 5 p.m., we still could see some tornadoes spawn with some of these rain bands and a tropical storm warning, as well as a flood watch through tomorrow with more on our local impacts. We have meteorologist Steve Warren. Yes, watch the radar closely here. 60 miles is the center, and that is due west of Naples right now. The uh, eye wall contains the strongest wind. That that is still off the coast, but getting a little closer to, uh, to the Gulf Coast. Uh, we are seeing the wind gust there 50, 60 miles an hour right out of the east there, and that's around Naples and Fort Myers. Uh, now we go to Key West where we're getting these waves of rain, bands of rain coming in. Sustained wind still 35 miles an hour gusting to 46. Uh, so seeing tropical storm force wind gusts, almost tropical storm force wind there uh, with that uh, sustained wind. It continues to move off to the east there, this uh, one rain band moving through Marathon. A uh, little uh, stronger wind here at times, gusting 35 to 40 miles an hour here out of the east to southeast in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, uh, and Homestead. Now, these bands contain the gusts and the heavy rain, which could lead to those uh, reduced visibilities on the roadways. We're in between the two here, and within these embedded, you could get an isolated tornado. We had one or two earlier there with warnings issued. Uh, the potential is th still there uh, for a few of these showers to be strong or or even severe, and we'll continue to monitor that. As the wind comes in from the south, watch the high tide times there in Key West, 12:30, 11:03 in Miami, 11:18 there in Fort Lauderdale. Minor flooding expected in and around those high tide times. As the storm center itself lifts to the north, we start to see conditions improve as far as the sustained winds go. However, there still could be stronger wind gusts there as these bands of heavier rain work their way through the area. They're still in the forecast throughout the day today and the afternoon and evening. We'll